Hi everyone, this is Arindam. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about some of the key areas of social psychology. But before we go deep into the subject, let's talk about what social psychology is. Social psychology is one of the most dynamic and at the same time most intriguing areas of human psychology. It deals with how a person or an individual behaves to the group or to a particular environment. And today uh, in the context of Corona and all the social distancing that is happening, social psychology uh, definitely becomes much more relevant as it's basically uh, the reaction that a particular person gives to a group or to its social environment. And so that is the reason why we are today going to talk in more details about this subject. So the first part, uh, so the first part uh, of today uh, will be uh, talking. We will be talking about a topic which is called person perception. As the name suggests, uh, it talks about perception in the very word itself. But unfortunately, that's a misnomer because person perception uh, talks about everything but about perception. It is essentially uh, talks about the process by which any individual they gather information about another person whom they are seeing in front. Uh, they evaluate that person based on some of the input that they already have. It may be a stereotype, uh, it uh, might be some other kind of information or the conventional thought that they have and the, the, the way they process that information and come to a judgment regarding that particular person essentially talks about the person perception. So uh, in a nutshell, if we talk, if, if you want to say what is person perception, person perception can be called uh, as a process by which a particular individual process the information that they derive about a particular person from their environment. The second topic for the day uh, is called cognitive algebra. Now, what is cognitive algebra? Does it have something to do with maths? Yes, a bit. So what happens when we form impression about a particular person? Say uh, you form an impression about your best friend who is sitting just beside you or you have formed uh, an impression about your grumpy boss of yours. So how that impression is formed? Cognitive uh, algebra is basically a model that talks about how impression is formed uh, about a particular person. In the process of formation of impression, what human mind does uh, is basically they give some positive or negative value to all the traits and character that they have collected about that particular individual. So for example, uh, let's talk about the grumpy boss of yours. Uh, you have seen that uh, he is very rude to you. So you have formed a negative value, say a negative minus 5 value for that. Uh, you have seen he is very hard working. So that is something that you would like to respect and you look up to him for that. You have given a plus 3 for that. At the same time, you have seen he is not that good in uh, maintaining a work-life balance. So you would might probably give him a minus 2 for that. So overall, you would see that if we add up all these traits and the numbers associated with these traits, we end up with a negative value. And that negative value is basically something that creates the negative impression about that particular person in our mind. So this whole model by which we were able to form uh, an impression about uh, that particular person who, for whom we are interested about is uh, basically called cognitive algebra. Now there are two forms or two, two parts of cognitive algebra that we are going to discuss. Uh, so now that we have talked about cognitive algebra, we are going to talk how cognitive algebra is further divided into two separate types of model. The first type of model is basically called the additive model. Now what does it mean by an additive model? Uh, a few minutes back I talked to you about your grumpy boss, right? Now let's take an example of one of your best friend. Uh, let's take three uh, traits or characteristics of that friend. That friend is very friendly, for that uh, he or she gets three. Uh, that uh, friend is very hardworking, for that he gets two. And at the same time, he or she is very honest, so he, she get, or he or she gets five. Now, if we add it up, the overall uh, number or the overall value for your friend becomes 10. 
uh, and they, it, it becomes an uh, overall additive model. So where we talk about uh, the impression formation that has formed about your friend is very much positive. The next important model that comes under cognitive algebra is called as average model. I will talk about uh, how the additive model and average model is different and which one is more uh, suitable and is, is more uh, accurate in prediction. But let's first talk about the average model. The average model on the other hand uh, does what? As the name suggests it averages out all these traits. So in case of your friend who got a value of 10, the cumulative average for that same friend will be 10 divided by 3 because there are 3 traits which are basically taken care of while calculating uh, the impression formation value of that friend and essentially the final value of your friend uh, cumulative average will come to be 3.33. Now why we are going to use uh, an average model and why we are going to use an addition model and what is the major difference among these two. If we are going to see uh, when an additive model is used uh, essentially if a positive a very high positive value is added it makes uh, the overall number much more positive or much more negative in that way. But uh, coming under uh, an average model even if uh, a very high value of uh, value is added to uh, the calculation if there is a particular uh, say a trait or a characteristics which has a much lower value the averaging out cer uh, certainly uh, makes a much more normalized value for the overall for calculated value which is formed and that is the reason why the average model of uh, cognitive algebra is much more used uh, in uh, the normal research methodologies. So these are uh, the two mid, uh, major areas that we are going to discuss in today's video and that is all from today's video. I hope that you like uh, both the topics first the percent perception and uh, the cognitive algebra which is one of the most essential model for the formation of impression. In our later videos we are going to talk further about various areas of social psychology but uh, if you like the video please do uh, click the like button and at the same time please do mention in your comment if there is any specific areas of uh, psychology that you want to learn more. I would be really uh, happy to share more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.